hello guys and welcome back to the channel in this tutorial we're going to learn how to create flowcharts like this or like this or like this completely for free using an ai tool using two very basic ai tools so the first ai tool that we're going to use is chat gpt so of course we can always come back to chat gpt and we can give the prompt for anything any kind of process So can you give me the mermaid code for a, a flow chart on a chemical process? That's the first step. So chat GPT is going to write the code for you very, very fast and, and, and pretty, pretty interesting. All right. So you can see this is a code, a mermaid code that chat GPT has generated. So all you need is just to copy the code from here and you can go to your next browser that's the next step which is the ai tool that we're going to use to use this mermaid code to create the the flow chart so that ai tool is draw.io okay so you can just go to draw.io and hit on enter and you brought in over to this very platform all right so you can link any of your account um, or you can decide this later and you can go ahead and give the project a name for example you can say flow chart one and hit on enter now you have a project and the next thing is you can come to this plus sign you can click on this plus sign you can come down all the way to advance and you can see mermaid code from here mermaid you can see mermaid and then you can hit on mermaid you can select everything and paste in the code that you have copied from chat gpt and then you can go ahead and click on insert now you can see with just one click the flow chart has been created from raw materials to disposal this is a complete process. Now, of course, you have to link up your account, maybe your Google Drive, so that's where it's going to save everything. Now, what you need to notice is that when you touch any element within the chart, it has these all of these styles, from the uh, styles to the text arrangement, styles to the arrangement, whatever you have, we can see them from here. In the styles, you can change the color of the elements. You can click and you'll be able to add in different kind of coloration to it. And then you can, uh, on your own, be able to have your chart look very, very different and fantastic. Okay, so you can have the final look to be something like this, which is very interesting. Now you can click and you can move the elements across to any location. You can drag and move them to anywhere and you can undo this and you can add elements if you're interested from here. You can see the different elements. You can come to MISC, be able to see many more elements. Okay, if you want lines, different kind of lines, horizontal elbows, you can come to advance. Also, you'll be able to see many other different elements. Basic, you'll be able to see different elements that you can add, different kind of arrows that you can just with just drag and drop. You'll be able to add this and then you can connect with another different flow charts. Okay, so you can come over here and you'll be able to see different kind of flow chart elements, entity relations. You can see them down here and many, many more other features. So it's very easy to create. So you can click and you can edit, like I said, the fill color, the line coloration, as well as the opacity. You can increase or decrease, and you can put in the. You can make it rounded, uh, or you can make it glass or sketch related, or something like that. You can have it to look completely different, like this. And you can um, check out other properties down here. You can check out very easily, and you can edit. In terms of text, you have the control to all of these bolding, italizing, changing the font style, and all of these features you can change on your own if you're interested in changing. And then you can bold, italize, change the alignments, and down here you can change the font color. If you don't want it to be black, you can add any color of your choice, and it's going to take that color. You can hit and apply, and you can see it's just affected that color. You can add background color if you're interested, and you can just click and add that particular color of your choice. And once you hit on apply, you can see it has applied the background color to your text. I don't want this because it doesn't look good. You can wrap the, you can do word wrap or format text and so much more opacity and so on in terms of the text. And also the arrangement, you can have all of these features to deal with if you're interested. Now you can add tables. You can come over here, you can add tables of different size, two by two, three by three. If you're interested in adding tables, you can add them accordingly. You can click on more shapes here to have the option to add more shapes of different types. You can see them from here. You can add, you can all it needs is just to select and you can bring it in directly into your, your program. Okay. So all you need is just to select 
can go to different directory you can see different kind of android uh altation c4 and so on different kind of entities and shapes that you can bring in into your your project you can easily navigate and check them around and if you have if you see anyone that you like you can easily bring it in and the next thing is um how can you export this um this flowchart that you've just created this simple flowchart all you need is to come over to file over here and you can go to export as and you can export in all of these formats you can export as png jpeg web svg pdf and so on for this i'm going to export in png and you can go transparent background if you don't want it to have a background or if you want it to have a background also you can and i want it to have the same background as the one it has i always like it to have a transparent background and then appearance you can have light or dark i want to keep it at light if you want to include grids you can include grids or if you want to include shadows you can include shadows if you're interested include a copy of my diagram if you have a diagram attached so you can select current page or all pages at, at the last stage you can define the border width and then all the way here to say export and then you can give the name and then where do you want to save it is it in the device you can say in the device or you can download directly and once you hit on this it is going to download that flowchart and we can see it over here and see what you've just created clearly downloaded all right so ladies and gentlemen this concludes this very basic simple tutorial on how to create flowcharts with an ai tool you can see this flowchart also was created using the same ai tool you can see this one also has is created using the same ai tool so please go ahead and explore and see what you can do with this particular tool and see how you can create different kind of flowchart for your project for your uh, seminar presentation and so on hope you enjoy this video thanks for watching and see you in the next one bye